Hey there, welcome back to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we'll be doing episode six of Hot and Cold. I'll be looking at any songs released from July 22nd all the way up until July 28th, 2018. I'm gonna switch it up a bit here. I'm gonna start off with the cold tracks. First one up on this list here is No Brainer by DJ Khaled featuring Chance the Rapper, Quavo, Justin Bieber. And yeah, this one actually has a nice music video to go along with it, but outside that, this is just formulaic pop rap. It's honestly like a factory full of songwriters got together and just mass produced a bunch of I'm the one replicas for reconsumption. Like seriously, I feel like this song was just regurgitated for the sole purpose of making money. And once again, DJ Khaled proves that he does absolutely nothing to contribute to the music, yet people still get caught up in his corny catchphrases. Next up we have Chainsmokers featuring Emily Warren with their new song, Side Effects. And it's just trash dance pop with lackluster production infused with a lifeless hook and forgettable message. And it doesn't really surprise me that the Chainsmokers are putting this song out, given that they tend to write the broadest and most boring beats just to appeal to a wider audience. Just super sanitized that there's nothing substantial left over. And honestly, listening to the song, it's just the equivalent of me pouring this hand sanitizer in my eyes, thinking that my vision will improve just based on its cleaning power. Yeah, that pretty much summarizes that one. But next up we have David Guetta with his new song, Don't Leave Me Alone. And the beat drop on this new one sounds like a copy of To You, which featured Justin Bieber. And this song was put out by David Guetta last year. But the rest of this new song here, Don't Leave Me Alone, is as petty and sad as the, the title of the track is called. It's really directionless and bland with its repetitive hook that just beats itself over your head as super anticlimactic. But yeah, I don't think David Guetta has any more titaniums up his sleeve with Sia, unfortunately. Next up, we have the Canadian artist Coleman Hell with his newest single, Love Is Blind. And man, the form of the song is just all over the place. The chorus on this thing just sounds like it's randomly paired up with a whistled instrumental in a library full of meaningless demos. And it's really disappointing because the last album that Coleman Hell put out just a couple of years ago was pretty solid. Another alternative artist that was kind of hitting their peak a few years ago on the radio was Houndmouth, and here they've released a new song this past week called Golden Age in support of their forthcoming album. But this time around, Houndmouth sound a little uninspired. Yeah, their new single um, it just sounds like a recycled version of When You Were Young by The Killers, but with newer and fresher production. So I'm not really into it, and it kind of has me apprehensive for what's in store on Houndmouth's newest record. Kind of reluctant to check that one out as a whole. They might sadly just fall off the map like The Neighborhood did earlier this year with their lackluster album. But let's get a little more positive. I'm gonna move on to the middle of the road tracks here. So kicking that off, we have Jason Mraz with his newest single called More Than Friends, which features Megan Trainer. And honestly, this is a decent song if you can just block out the fact that it's Megan Trainer. There's some good mixing of vocals for this duet though. Trainer doesn't sound as obnoxious as she does on her solo material. There's nice touches of slide guitar, softer drumming from the jazz brushes, but it's the lyrics that let me down on this one. It's just cliched garbage. But putting all those elements together, it is an average song. Next up we have Summer Walker with her newest single called Girls Need Love. And this one kind of sounds like it was produced by Noah Shabib. Um, it's very sullen and very ambient in its texture. Nothing too innovative or reinventing the wheel kind of thing here, but it's still a quick song that isn't too bad relatively compared to the other ones that I've mentioned in this video. Another middle of the road track is by Logic, which features Ryan Tedder from One Republic. This one's entitled One Day. And the song features a great instrumental from the piano and the percussion. Kind of sounds like a late registration era Kanye West type of song. Really catchy actually. Outside of this, it's just a trashy 2018 motivational track. It's just full of generic and trite statements of making it big in life while remaining humble. It's really just a safe topic to talk about and it's nothing we haven't heard from other artists. And after all is said and done for this song, I kind of feel bad for Ryan Tedder and Logic because I know they've made a lot more interesting music in the past. Next up we have Girls Night Out by Charlie XCX. And this one is a charismatic tune that should be a bop for women in the club. And even though I'm not a girl, the song should still be an energetic and catchy electro pop piece of music in the future. And it's pretty decent, not as good as her older material, but it's still fitting and a suitable return for Charlie XCX. Now to switch it up from the electro pop kind of genre, I'm gonna talk a little bit about alternative music here with Lovely the Band. 
And they released a new single, Pity Party, in support of their forthcoming album, which comes out on August the 3rd. But half of it's already been released based on the label just releasing single after single. I'm not really a fan of music labels doing that, because it kind of just feels like they're spoiling an album, like opening a present the night before Christmas. But oh well, this is the first song that I've checked out, Pity Party, from this upcoming album. Well, other than Broken, but that one's been out for a really long time. But this new one, Pity Party, is a decent track. Nothing to brag about, like it's incredible or anything, but not really the worst thing I've heard either. Broken is still by far the best song that they've released, so I highly recommend checking that one out if you're looking for a newer kind of alternative band. And to round out the middle of the road tracks, I've picked out 1997 Diana by Brock Hampton. And this is a weird and eccentric kind of quick two minute track driven by its baritone sax instrumental, the eerie samples of children and drum instrumentals. And it's adding to an expansive list of singles, giving us a better idea for what the sonic direction of this new Brock Hampton album will be. And it should be pretty interesting. Now onto the hot tracks and you'll notice that there's only three songs that I've picked out here. Um, yeah, this past week wasn't too good for music. But hey, we have Blood Orange with their newest single called Charcoal Baby, and I'm really impressed with this one. I'm still pretty new to this indie rock artist, but you know what? It didn't really hold me back from falling in love with this track. From the encapsulating synths and the plucking guitar, by the bridge, this song absolutely pierces through and ruminates with rich and tranquil tones. It's definitely a song that has me interested to check out the older material put out by this artist. Moving ahead, we have Santa Gold with one of her newest songs called Run the Road. And this one has a bit of a Jamaican influence on the verses with the vocal delivery. But elements of more North American pop and synth pop are incorporated in there too. It's one of those songs where the melody of the hook will be a little irritating for some, possibly me in the future. But for now, I really like this song, and it's on a mixtape that I might check out in a future review. I'm kind of undecided on that since I haven't listened to Santa Gold's music in a long time, but it's still a noteworthy track to point out. And to wrap up the hot tracks of the week, I picked out Metric's newest single called Dress to Suppress. From the introspective and serene interludes that kick off and close this track, it's literally a facade for what is stored in the middle of it with the lyrical content. It's a song about the differences between our outer appearance and how we feel on the inside, but it also creatively twists and turns in a compelling form to reflect the message of the song too. Overall, it's a great song for Metric and it has me excited for the new LP coming out. And there you have it, there's episode 6 of Hot and Cold, Said and Done. I want to hear from you now. Sound off down below in the comments, let me know what you're thinking. Agree or disagree, I'm here to engage with you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. My name is Ryan from True North Reviews, and as always, have a rockin' day. Thanks for watching.